Six here, and I'm back with another episode of Tornado Survival, Season 7, Episode 6. And in today's episode, we are going to be doing a viewer-suggested build, which is to, um, uh, whoopsie daisies, is to protect the villagers. So, every, every single villager in this village is dead because of storms and hopefully well so you know with that concept you think oh no are the villagers extinct no hopefully whenever we went and found cows and never successfully brought them back we have also found a village and there were villagers inside of that village hopefully those villagers are still alive and if they are we will be bringing them back so that's the plan for today, is we're going to find those villagers, we're going to bring them back here, and we're going to build them an underground little bunker area. So that's that's the plan for today. Um, right now, ooh, I'm going to sleep first. Uh, I'm going to cut out and I'm going to walk all the way to the village, and then I'll come back. And I think we're going to transport them via... Railway, if railroad, if they're still alive. So let's go find out if they're still alive. Alrighty, guys, we're closing in on the village, and it is not looking good. I tell you, there is a tornado literally tracked right next to it. So hopefully, it was just this tornado, and um, uh, it didn't actually get hit. But that that doesn't give me much hope. Oh, thank God, uh, there are villagers. Which is nice, very nice. Um, this is what we wanted, so I don't know how much iron we have or how much we'll need, but I think it's. We literally just go back this way, and that'll be the um, path of which we go. Well, wait, we're supposed to go this way. I think it's some. Um, uh, best if we start the railway from like right here I think I think don't hold me on that so we're gonna start right here uh, let's make us a crafting table and let's just get a bunch of sticks and the idea is we just use a mine cart and this mine cart to send them on their way with coal now we have to make the rails. I don't know how many we need. How many is that? It's going to be two stacks. Uh, it's 860. I think it's like 500 blocks there. So that's like, that's one, oh gosh, we're not going to have enough, I don't think. Not going to have enough railway to get us there. Interesting. Uh, 100, 200. Th wait. 100, 200, 300, probably. We probably have about 300 blocks here. Uh, let's see how far this gets us. So, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna start placing this railroad, and we will see how far it gets us. Um, luckily the villagers are still here, but I'll cut back in once I've got the majority of this placed. Oh man, this is gonna be interesting, I'll tell ya. Alrighty guys, I have officially run out of rails, and man are we so close. There's the village right there. Uh, if we go ahead and pull up our weather forecaster here, I just wanna make sure. I think the storm should be dying. Oh, interesting. There's a new storm popping up. We'll have to Okay, good. I think it's moving away. Uh, we have to watch our rail, railway, railroad, whatever. Uh, we don't want it to get hit. I have preference on two days, so that gives us an extra two days to try and get this done. Um, I say we need probably another, another f stack or two of rails. This is not our village, is it? Yes, it is. Okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna really say I was like panic time. I didn't see the cobblestone wall for a second, and I was, was about the about the panic. I was like, "Did we just build in the complete wrong direction?" Because if we did, 
That's going to be a real shame. <laughs> uh, so now we're just going to do some strip mining. I'll talk about some stuff. So I'm on summer break now. Unfortunately, my voice, you might be able to tell, it's a little, like, muffled maybe, scratchy, something not scratchy, but uh, sniffly, if that's what it is. I I am, uh, I guess, allergies because of this time of year are really kicking my butt right now. So that's, that's really unfortunate because right now is the time when I'm able to record a lot and record consistently. And just as that happens, I get this allergy thing. So um, I've been off from school for about a week and a half now, but I've only gotten out like one or two videos. Or one video, yes, it'll be the second one. I'm going to try and get more videos out. Or I'm not going to try to, I'm going to. I'm at the point where I can definitely start picking up the pace on these videos. Um, expect a video maybe every other day, hopefully. Expect a lot more live streams thrown in, too. I wouldn't expect one this weekend or anything like that, but for sure expect them during the week. It's a lot easier for me to do them during the week. It automatically chooses it based on the one. Sorry about that, guys. Um, uh, I got cut off there. I was I had a Twitch channel pulled up, and I had it muted. The Twitch channel stopped streaming, and it started hosting someone else, and for some reason, when it hosted someone else, it unmuted what I had been... Um, what I had muted. So that definitely did not work out. Twitch, you should fix that. I, I would want it muted for a reason, you know? You ever consider that? <laughs> uh, this cave is, is not completely explored, so hopefully we'll be able to find some iron somewhere. Where? I do not know. I really get lost through here, so give me a second. Try and figure this out. I haven't explored certain parts, but what parts that they are, I have no clue. I just went there. Holy cow. <laughs> uh, did I go up all the way? Ooh, careful. Okay. I think the key is to go this way. No? <laughs> Alright, don't worry. We'll figure this out. Uh... Find me some unexplored cave. Here we go. Here we go. Aha. Unexplored. Anyways, um, I'm on summer break now. I want to start uploading more. I don't think this will be the only series. This will be the main one. I'm kind of more inspired to play this game now. Uh, I don't really have a complete goal ready for the season yet, but I'm getting there, you know. Uh, I like what we got going here. We've gotten a few episodes down. It's good. Keep the good going, or whatever the saying is. Uh, where's some iron? I know there's some here. We That's what we came for, is iron. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep all of this in, but uh, I'm going to keep a lot of it in, just because I want to discuss. Um, one series might be Tornado Wars 4. It's really hard to do, to set up this series. Um... The main part is just looking at how realistic it is to keep to make the series successful. It's really this con the concept is almost impossible to pull off, and getting the members that we want in is also a very very hard challenge. I don't know why I did that, but uh, whatever. Um, another series might be involving a fan server. I, there will be a fan server coming. I just don't know if I'll do a series on it. So keep an eye out on that. Maybe this week or next week we'll have a fan server done. We're working on it right now. We just got to get all the plugins set up and spawn completely built. It's, it's a really hard thing to do. That's me and Purple working on that, by the way. Um, that's the two main go things I want for this summer. Early summer. Late summer will have some more parts to it, I'm sure because it shouldn't take all summer to get those two things done. But that's what this channel mainly looks like. I just want to kind of grow it over summer break. It'd be great. And going into senior year, I should be able to keep the videos going, hopefully. Senior year should be a lot easier to get videos out. I mean, I know I'll be busy, but I'll have more personal time, I think, which I should be able to include videos on. So there you go. 29 iron. Let's see what we can do about that. Oh, great. More on Explored Cave. Hold on, this is annoying. 
ta da. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much what the channel's looking like. If you got any comments or suggestions about any of that, just let me know. I'm going to go ahead and cut out and finish caving, and then we'll cut back in. Alrighty guys, so I got all of our iron smelted after that caving adventure. Um, our hailstorm here has, or windstorm, yeah, our windstorm increased to a hailstorm and it's still increasing. That's what I wanted to say. I think we're just gonna do 48 of these for now. I don't, I think that should be close to enough, maybe. Uh, dang it, we left the other crafting table there. Um, I don't want to overdo it, of course, because we're kind of low on iron because of this project. But it is a crucial project, you know, I mean, there's other things that need to be done, but I think this kind of takes priorities to try and save the species, because we, we need this species. It's an important species, because we trade with them for stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why this project's kind of taking priority over other things right now. Uh, put that there. Ooh, hello, you camouflaged jerk. I didn't even see you at first. That was almost dangerous. Danger. Uh, let's see where this, where this, um, uh, where this rail is. Let's see, what is this, 232? Um, oh, wait, jump. Aha. Let's, yeah, there we go. What, negative 300 or something like that? All right, we'll see. I think we're going to need more than this. That's all right. We'll see, you know, it's all you can do is just try and see how much. Ah, uh, yeah, we're probably going to need more. Uh, hello, tree that's in my way. Yeah, we're going to need at least 48 more. Of course, one freaking block. That's my luck right there. Whoops. that XP. Whoa, did a chicken just die? What the heck? Why are there zombies spawning? And what are those suspicious clouds for? <laughs> Time out. It's quite the cave down there. Dang it. I swear, I keep running into trees. I just want to get this working. Can't even reach that. Wow, of course. There we go. Please don't make me build extra. Alright. We're so close I can smell it. Alright, where do we where do we even want to build this? Sure, right here ought to work to be honest, you know? Um, we got this built. We don't really have a plan for this, do we? Okay, uh, let's get our forecaster back. I swear, there's so many mobs down there. Oh, interesting. Turned into a Category 1 hurricane. Good for it. Let's see. Uh, let's take a second to think about this. Alrighty guys, so I was doing some work on the village, thinking out a concept when I heard some thunder, and I opened this up. There's an F2 tornado. Um, we probably need to check this out. I don't know if it's going to affect our um, railway or not, but I don't know when this thing came up, because I've been relatively paying attention. Oh dear. Rip railway, dude. Oh wow, that's a monster. Look at that. Hey, you mind telling me about that storm game? Oh, it's an F3 now. Wow. That's a large tornado right there. Ooh, hello game. Wow, would you look at that? That is just... It's ripping open the... Oh, that's ripping the... Oh, wow, that was some nice CG right in front of it there. It's tearing up the open plains right now. Wow. Some more CGs. Yep. Uh, let's get her a check on where this thing's moving. It's moving towards us. It's going to be a close hit. 
And we'll actively chase this thing, but I hope it doesn't hit our village here. Um, we have a lot of work in the hills, um, uh, in the, in the railway there, but the railway is going to be ripped up. I don't know what part of it, but there you go. Alright, it's weakening now. It could get some direction change here as it's weakening. That can happen. Wow. Just like that, uh, northern plains. Wow. It appears to be moving southwest, mainly west. It's got a mainly west direction on it. Let's just take a quick step back and just admire this thing. Yep, there you go. Wow. Yeah, it's definitely ripping up our railroad at this moment. Um, hopefully it's not ripping up that village. I don't think it is, but you can never be sure. Still going. Yep, mainly west. Straight across west. That's um uh that's been on the ground for a while too. It's actually been at an F3 strength for a while too. It's pretty impressive. Very impressive tornado. Actually got close enough to trigger our sirens, which are in that house there, so that just tells you. You gotta take a step back just to see the whole thing. I think that's technically a wedge. I'm not sure. If you measure it, it's about what this tall here. Yeah, I think it's a wedge. Sure. Why not? It's an F3. We'll call it that. Really wish you'd make that an EF3. This is 2017. Coros, not 2005. It's actually staying in F3 strength for a while. It's not moving very quick either. It's got a really slow storm motion to it. So you're just walking along and then you look over and <laughs> tornado. Yeah. As long as it doesn't hit us, I'm fine. That definitely hit part of our um, uh, thing though zoom in on that right there yeah you can see some blocks being picked up over there that tree right there is about to get it as long as that sheep doesn't get picked up we'll be fine I think oh yeah look at the motion it's beautiful rain feeding it on ooh and um uh I think it just shrunk to an EF2 now. Losing size here. Should be an EF2 now. Still a beautiful tornado. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse. Oh, come on, another storm already. That's how long that one lasted. Let's go check out the damage and then we'll end off the episode. And I'll show you what I did with the village. It's a nice little sunset time lapse with the dying tornado. It's, it's still going to go on for a while, but it won't affect us. Any, oh yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. Here's where our issue is, right here. How much did it wipe out? Man, I think this is where it turned into an F3. It's a wide path. Yep, that's where we got hit, right there. Uh, we can repair that real quick. Just real quick. Should only be 16 rails. 
I might be wrong, but who knows? Uh, that's what I was afraid of right there is a tornado ripping up our track. I didn't think it'd be a tornado of that size by any means, but still it it ripped it up. <laughs> it didn't it wouldn't have taken an EF three, but an EF three did it. It did it good too. I think it hit EF three status just before it hit our railway actually. That's that cost us um six twelve 18 pieces of iron, maybe more. That's a costly tornado right there. That's just a railway. Imagine if that had damaged a town. Uh, it's a good thing we're doing this project. There we go. All right, repaired that. Let's um, uh, let's check out what work we got done, and I'll show you all my vision is for this. Swing around here. Yep, ignore all those creepers and stuff. Hello, skeleton party. If you don't mind. That should block them off. Um, ignore these broken in walls. There was iron there and I am greedy. Basically we want to do a 10 block long hallway. 10 blocks, 10 blocks, 10 blocks, 10 blocks. This will be in the middle. And then we have a door like here. Or maybe not there, but like here. Whoops. Pick broke, of course. Um, let me show you real quick. And then we'll end it off. It's getting to be a long episode, I will say. It's taking forever to edit this. <laughs> so, like, the room will go like this. We'll dig out one here. Yeah, like so. Whoopsie daisies. See, that wouldn't be like that. We could, these corner houses could have a door there or something like that. And then have another door here. Not there. Dang it. Have another door here. And it goes out like so. Blah, blah, blah. Goes in. Basically, we have these small little houses, and we have to have light touch the door, so we have little ceiling things there. So we get it like two or three houses on each hallway, because there's the wall there, so there's wall. Get another house here, and that's basically the concept. Two, four houses in each hallway. Why do I dig out that block every time? And of course, we'll decorate it to be decorated accordingly to make it a decent looking village but that's the plan we will finish this in the next episode and transport the villagers to their new tornado proof home that's going to do it for this one like comment, subscribe if you all enjoyed leave any comments or suggestions and i will see you all later bye